My name's Andy and I'm the camp manager here at Kirka National Park in Croatia. We have five teams of scientists here. One team going out looking at freshwater fish. Uh, another team are looking at birds. We have mammals as well. We have scientists looking at small mammals and large mammals. We have cave scientists looking at what's in, in the caves and the limestone geology around here. And we also have petafauna, fauna, which is reptiles and amphibians. So it's quite a, a nice mix of, of different uh, activities and different species that the students are looking at. And National Park Kirka, in fact, uh, covers the uh, main river Kirka, but with many surface and underground rivers. So this is big collector, which collects a lot of underground rivers. In that underground, uh, we, we, at the moment, we know approximately 120 caves and pits. The students learn in the way that we go together in the cave. We speak about genesis of the cave, cave habitats, uh, cave ecology, cave uh, microclimate, and finally biodiversity of the caves. Croatia is a really diverse country with a lot of habitats, and especially this part of Croatia on near Adriatic coast. It's really interesting because of its uh, karstic nature. That means a lot of different and isolated habitats, different from other parts of Europe. And uh, Krka itself is a great representation of a karstic river. It's a unique habitat for uh, lots of uh, species of fish, and a lot of them are endemic species. So uh, our goal here is to try to list all the fish species that we can find. Herpetology, how to catch snakes, how to catch uh, turtles, terrapins, how to catch amphibians. We already showed them uh, some methods for handling snakes. We set some traps for snakes. Uh, we set some traps for terrapins. And yeah, we we'll learned quite a lot of stuff here. By the end of the first week, students have finished their terrestrial science. So they then go to Milliet Island, the national park there. Milliet is a national park, uh, one of the first in the Mediterranean, basically mainly because of the uh, coral reef, that it's uh, located in the big lakes, uh, but also because of Pina nobilis, which is the highly endangered mussel. The students will start by uh, learning all the dive theory, and that's obviously the most important thing. Because we run the paddy course, um, we, we have a series of five theory sessions, uh, and then we go in the water, shallow water to start with, and we've got a corresponding five lessons in the water there, and then we start to take them deeper, and there are four open water lessons where they, get, they end up going, getting down to 18 metres, um, but on every lesson they do lots of basic diving skills. With the scuba diving, we've been learning how to do fish surveys and transects, which has been really interesting and not something I've experienced before, where we get a specific area and we see how many fish are there and different species, and we look into the biodiversity and if there are any invasive species there. Also, the, the science talk are focused on a rather broad subject, so we are teaching them everything that has to do with sustainability, conservation, marine mammals, plastic, microplastic, so all of the modern challenges and all of the you know, modern discussions when it comes to what's threatening the environment and how we can best conserve it. My school offers this class called Honors Experiential Biology. So it's a class that you can apply to get in and then it culminates in a trip to study biodiversity and ecology. So originally when I was applying, I actually thought I was gonna to go to the Galapagos, but it changed to Croatia and I'm so glad I came here because it's so different from anything I've ever seen. It's so beautiful. Definitely I've had so much new experiences here in Croatia. From learning how a base camp is set up for scientific research, how it's all run, seeing how research methods are done on loads of different types of science, from uh, mist netting for birds, that was really cool, how to handle animals in a real like, respectful way, not to damage them or anything like that, how to take samples, just loads of different things that have just been amazing. 